Today we're talking Blue Beetle Volume 3, this is the Rebirth Era, Road to Nowhere. Hey everybody, welcome back to BK's Bullets. As always, I'm your host, Brent Casina, and today we're talking more Blue Beetle Rebirth. This is Volume 3, the last volume, Road to Nowhere. This collects issues 13 through 18, and boy, did I did they title this correctly, I will say. Uh, issue number 13 is the last issue written by Keith Giffen and uh, J.M. DeMatteis. It's basically a sequel to the Justice League 3000 and 3001 series they were doing before the Rebirth era happened. Uh, that had art by um, Howard Porter, where, and that kind of, I think I read the first five issues of the first series. There was two, 3000 and then 3001. Um, the Justice League gets cloned in the future and they're alive there. And then I don't really know what happened in 3000 when I stopped reading it. It was too weird of an idea for me to jump on. Um, and I guess I'm not a huge Giffen De Mateus fan. I don't know. But anyway, issue number 13 kind of, I feel like it should resolve a lot of things that were left open in 3001. If not, what the heck are they doing wasting my time with it? Because it was way more of a, hey, here's our old characters for our readers who did like this book um, resolution as opposed to anything relevant to Jaime. And after that, they leave. <laughs> and issue 14 through uh, 18 are written by Christopher Sabella and Scott Collins is doing the art on all of these issues, except for, I believe, one. Uh, was it Tom Derenick steps in? Yeah, Tom Derenick steps in and, and does a pretty good Scott Collins imitation. Um, so it, it kind of jives together, even though it's still recognizably t uh, Tom Derenick. But their their styles aren't too dissimilar that you'd be like, oh, what is this? Like, I'm used to Scott Collins. Road to Nowhere, that storyline is just uh, Jaime and Paco and Brenda having an adventure. Finally, they're back in the book uh, with his new girlfriend, Naomi. They go into the desert, they encounter some weird old people, and it's kind of like Cocoon with alien spacesuits and a time dilation guy who's like missing pieces of his face, and ultimately it goes nowhere. Like, that's it. And then you have a final issue where Blue Beetle's like having an, an adventure on his own after that storyline's wrapped up, and you've got the cover that's like, hey, everything is resolved. And we're done. Bye-bye. And that's kind of what the last issue is. Uh, just a s small little adventure with Ted Cord and some AI and some robots. And then a cookout with his family and his girlfriend. And they're like, yeah, we're dancing. The end for now. Um, so, yeah, Road to Nowhere, kind of a know-nothing book. Like, honestly, skip this one. <laughs> Stop at volume two. I wish I did. Um, kind of a bummer, man. There, this whole volume of Rebirth has been really, really frustrating because... I like the idea of Keith Giffen coming back to the book after he helped do the first 12 issues with John Rogers from the original post-Infinite Crisis run. That was exciting to me at the time. Scott Collins, I, I like his art, but it didn't jive for me here on this book. And then to ultimately have a hand wave of everything that was done before, the entire Infinite post-Infinite Crisis run, 36 issues, gone. Totally not worth it. You have the, the kind of so-so reboot from New 52 uh, with Tony Bedard. That's also gone. And now the Scarab is back to being magic as opposed to the whole idea of the Scarab was, um, when it got onto Jaime, was it's not magic, it's alien. Here's a new alien you've never met before because Dan Garrett thought it was magic the whole time way back in the day in the, the Charlton publishing days or something like that, right? So really frustrating just to have this like, it's alien, it's alien, it's magic. And now with the series that comes after this, we're back to it being alien, I believe. And that's another video, um, one that's really good. So um, hopefully we'll enjoy those again more than we did. I know I certainly will because I loved reading them in single issues. So look out for more Blue Beetle in the future. I'm gonna take a break for a bit. We're gonna do some other things here on the channel, but we will come back with those Blue Beetle Graduation Day uh, series I got those two trades, and the third one comes out in January, so maybe we'll do it closer to that and uh, get some back to some good Jaime Reyes Blue Beetle stuff instead of this mediocre crap Rebirth era. Honestly, you know, read Volume 2. I don't think you need to read Volume 1 to read 2. Uh, if you have to read one, pick two. If you don't want to read any, that's fine also. Just 
come back when we do the next series. So that's my thoughts on Blue Beetle, Road to Nowhere. Man, this series definitely was titled correctly. So let me know what you thought of this book down below in the comments. We'll see you guys next time in the funny pages.